Hello and welcome to this video on washing your hands. This is a point that is especially pertinent now, but has always been neglected by the general public. Even those who do regularly wash their hands may be doing it wrong. This makes the spread of disease worse and provides a false sense of security. There is one major route of infection and reinfection for humans. This is the fecal oral route. It involves contact with feces, generally with hands, and then contact with the nose and mouth region. This is known as the danger triangle. Contact with this region of the face gives pathogens ready access to the nasal and oral cavities. These are filled with membranes that are easily passed through. That then gives access to the rest of the internal system. This same route allows disease to spread to nearby surfaces. This creates another place from which pathogens can be picked up and cause infection. You might have picked up on an obvious intermediary in both examples, your hands. These essential elements of life are regularly in contact with all sorts of sources of pathogens. They are also touching your face and body regularly. This spreads disease. We previously discussed the need for concern when it comes to salmonella. This included guidance on washing your hands. The problem is that everybody knows this, but not everyone does wash their hands properly, if at all. You can see here how we wash our hands without thought or effort. Now you can see what happens if we wash our hands but have previously applied a fluorescent agent. The problem is almost immediately apparent. Having reapplied the fluorescent compound, you can see how washing our hands using a proper method is different. This is from the World Health Organization and is the best recognized and accepted means of washing your hands. To do so, wash your hands with water so they are thoroughly wet. Apply soap and preferably use an automatic dispenser. Rub your palms together, and then your right palm over the back of your left hand, going down and around the gap between your fingers. This is then repeated on the other hand. And then your palms together, and then your fingers interlaced. And then the back of your fingers into the palm of your other hand, and then vice versa. Now for your thumbs. Grab your thumb in the palm of your hands and ring. Repeat for your other hand. Now for your palms, by washing in a circular motion with your fingers clasped together. Do this for both hands. Rinse your hands with water. Dry with paper towel. And then clean the faucet with more paper towel. You can now see the difference between the two attempts. One was cognitively done with thought and purpose. The other was done to simply accomplish the motions of having washed our hands. Once you are adapted to this process, it should take you between 20 and 30 seconds for general personal care. If the thorough method is too much, then the CDC offers a few tips to better clean yourself. They provide five tips. First and simplest is make sure you wash your hands with clean running water. Then you apply soap. Then you lather your hands and make sure you cover all of your hands as much as possible, including under your fingernails. Make sure you scrub your hands for at least 20 seconds. They advise that you use several songs that are relatively well known to time how long you do this for. They suggest 20 seconds. Then they say to rinse your hands under clean running water and then dry them. Unlike the World Health Organization's guidelines, they don't specify paper towel but say either a clean towel or an air drying mechanism. There is one problem with many soap sources and you need to consider that when you are washing your hands. They act as a source of contamination. The soap, either as a bar or dispenser, is contacted before you clean your hands. This transfers bacteria, viruses and more from your hands to the soap. 
This effectively contaminates one of the key points in which you are trying to decontaminate your hands and undoes some of the process. It is worth using your elbow or another body part that is not regularly in contact with pathogen sources to dispense the soap onto you. Automated dispensers are a good option for this reason, but they do have their own flaws. You can somewhat mitigate this with the use of hand sanitizers or alcohol rubs. These sanitize your hands before you interact with soap and faucets. This does not stop disease spread from your hands, but does reduce it. To use hand sanitizer, you put a small amount, maybe half a teaspoon, which is a small, coin-sized amount into the palm of your hand and rub your hands together. Try to spread it over all of the surface of your hand. You continue to rub your hands together, moving this around to ensure maximum contact with all the surface area of your hand and any possible pathogens for 20 to 30 seconds. By the time you're done, your hands should be completely dry. In an ideal world, the area in which you've washed your hands should have been cleaned up once you are done, and ideally, once the person before you is done. This means it should also be clean and relatively sanitary. In an ideal world, if everybody were to follow this procedure, or a close approximation thereof, we would have a much lower incidence of the diseases spreading about that we have to be concerned of, both now and before the recent outbreak. Thank you for watching this video. If you have found it interesting, consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. Please post any comments, questions, or suggestions below.